Welcome back to the Vanessa G Fitcast. I'm Vanessa Gillette Pozos, and here with me is Omar Pozos. What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing today? Well, I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were part of the everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I feel like a, a new woman. Why do you say that? Because what we're about to talk about on the podcast today. First, okay, yeah, let's talk about it. But I will say, I will forewarn their listeners: if you guys are at lunch, if you guys are eating, if there are any food. Or are you? You're about to consume. I'm food. not going to get that into it. We're going to talk poop. So no, I'm not getting that into it. If if you guys are eating, probably not the best time to listen. But do listen to it because it's awesome. Um, do you want me to talk about the story I was going to talk about yesterday or no? You know what? I I I don't even know. <laughs> so I was telling Vanessa for you guys, if anybody out there has watched SpongeBob or has uh, ever oh taken God. a look at some of the episodes, I asked Vanessa. I said, you know, babe. What you're about to talk about tomorrow on the podcast, I said, it really reminds me about a SpongeBob episode that I really liked. I said, so do you remember the girl, the squirrel, Sandy? And she's like, yeah, there's a great, great, great character. I love Sandy. I said, well, there is an episode where she's chasing this big worm and she's like, you know, she's trying to um, rally it up and, and she's trying and to like lasso the worm. Lasso she? it. Yeah. And it's huge. And it's this like ginormous, like it almost looks like a hot, like a hot dog. But anyways, all to say, I was telling Vanessa, I said, that reminds me of the parasite <laughs> that you passed, the parasite that you really came out of your butt. But um, yes, yeah, so today, yeah, so what are we going to talk about, Vanessa? Thank you. Thank you so much, Omar, for that really great introduction. <laughs> yes, today we are talking about parasite cleanses. So worms, I actually- um, people, worms. I, I did my first parasite cleanse, obviously, um, since Omar just kind of uh, told us there there was, in fact, a passing of a very large parasite. So it's kind of <laughs> skipping to the, you know, the exciting news of that. But so, yeah, I am the reason I was saying that I'm feeling like a new woman today is because I just completed my first parasite cleanse and I really do feel so much better, you guys. It's crazy. It's so kind of a little bit of backstory here when it comes to um, parasite cleanses. So for myself specifically, you know, as you know, if you've been a longtime listener of the podcast, I've gone through some of my own health issues ranging from hormone and gut issues. And I would say the last year, year and a half has really been a true exploration of my own health. And over that time, you know, I've had um, lots of testing done, some uh, GI maps, some Dutch tests, different things. And, you know, I've resolved a lot of issues that showed up on those tests, which has been incredible. And I, my symptoms have resolved tremendously. And then we talked about that on a podcast not too long ago of how, you know, a year ago, I couldn't hardly eat anything without having severe gut issues. And nowadays I can almost eat anything without um, those kinds of severe issues. But that being said, I don't want to just be normal. I want to be optimal. And I was finding myself still going through these waves of just not feeling good where I would have certain times that just wasn't related to my cycle because it really seemed to be you know, during the phases of my cycle, my menstrual cycle, that I should actually be feeling my best. And I would find myself suddenly just feeling super bloated, like especially even like my upper abdomen would be really bloated to the point where like I might have on a bra or a sports bra. And I felt like the band was just like cutting into me, which was super unusual. Um, and I would find myself just suddenly feeling super low energy and just like having these weird waves of not feeling good. And so this is where what I just love about what we do, where we really do get more functional with things. We really do not just treat, you know, what's on paper. We don't just treat the labs. We really treat symptoms. We really look at, okay, how can we deduce some different things that could be going on here? So I've been um, working with a somebody who's just really incredible gut health specialist, and we've been learning a lot from her. Um, you know, Alex, our head dietitian, she's been mentoring under their whole team, and we've been learning so much. And so working with this gut health specialist, she had shared with me, you know, I think it's time maybe we do a parasite cleanse. And so you know, when it comes to um, parasite cleanses, even in our own coaching program, we've been doing more and more parasite cleanses, even for, you know, some women who maybe it's not even flagging on a GI map on a stool test of showing there being a parasite there, but symptomatically they are showing that maybe there might be something deeper going on here that isn't able to show up on a test. And that's the thing about parasites. They can actually hide in your body for years and not show up on stool tests, not show up on biopsies or colonoscopies or, or, anything like that, right? yeah, or endoscopies or anything that we would typically do for gut health specifically. 
And so if these women are feeling like good and bad in different waves and they have all of their bases covered, you know, we don't jump into these kinds of protocols for women who we still need to get our you know, ducks in a row. But if we have all the bases covered, we're doing everything right, we've done testing and something still seems off, that's when we can start to look at these different types of protocols, which is something like a parasite cleanse. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love about our team is, like you said, Vanessa, we don't just put band-aids on the symptoms. We don't just, you know, oh, here, take care of this and or drink this or, or take this supplement to help with the symptoms. We, like you said, get to the true root cause of what's causing some of these things so we can help and alleviate these things. You don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, but of course, me being the supportive and loving husband, I was like, you know what? If you're going to do a parasite cleanse, I was like, screw it. I'll do one myself as well. Not only because, um, of course, I, I wanted to just see what it did to me as well, but I wanted to, I, I had never, I don't think I'd ever had one. Maybe as a kid I did. So I'm from Mexico originally. I was born there. And because the food and the tap water over there isn't as clean as it is in the States, I think they do some as kids. And I'm pretty sure I've had one before, but I just, I mean, ever since I was like six years old, I'm now 31. Um, I, I don't like saying that, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I hadn't had one in a while. So I, I tried it as well. And it was, it was crazy even for myself that I quote unquote, you know, I, I feel like I'm healthy. I feel like my energy levels are okay. I feel like I, I don't have a ton of gut issues going on. Um, I just, I, the, the stuff that I passed as well was very eye opening, which is crazy to see. Yeah. So when it comes to parasites, you know, according to an article from Dr. Jess MD, so she says that parasites are organisms that utilize their hosts for nutrition and survival. And you might be thinking, you know, we live in this first world country where parasites aren't really a thing, right? But, you know, let me tell you that thinking it is primarily wrong. It's actually estimated that upwards of 70% of people, that's right, 70% of people might have parasites and they can manifest as various different symptoms. There's actually thousands of different types and species of parasites, but 30% of them are actually microscopic. So that's where it's really crazy. That's how so many people are actually infected with them. And you might not even be able to really spot them. But if you have viral issues or suspect heavy metals, you likely have parasites based on just the science of things. Yeah. And if your symptoms ramp up around a full moon cyclically, you likely have a parasitic infestation. And this is where this was something that clued in for me. Like I had said, I couldn't seem to point out, you know, where, you know, was this related to my cycle? Why was I having these like waves of feeling bad? And then that's when it occurred to me, kind of looking at the dates of things, it is more so related to the moon cycle. And before you're like, all right, this is getting way too <laughs> like, woo-woo woo for here. me. Let me explain. So I didn't know this before doing the parasite cleanse. This was completely new to me, completely new knowledge. But I actually remember even back in college, I had a friend who, um, her dad was a vet and she would always talk about, you know, every time, every month, like when the full moon would come around, she'd be like, oh, the crazies are coming out. You know, it's the full moon. And she's like, you know, and my dad, you know, he has all these cases that always pop up at this time of the month. Like all the animals seem to go crazy. And I remember just thinking like, that's absurd. Like that's not this real. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. And like, I love her, but I'm also kind of like just nodding along and smiling like, yeah, okay, sure. Well, something I, I recently learned upon doing this experiment is there actually is science to support that. So it's, I think it's unknown what truly causes this, but something around, you know, obviously we have um, different cycles that our bodies go through. We have the 24 hour cycle. We have, um, you know, the 12 month cycle. We have the calendar obviously like the 12 month calendar, we also have moon cycles. And because of the way the moon shifts, it affects different, um, you know, it affects like the energy of the earth. It affects all these different things that are more scientific than I can probably get into here, but it does affect the hormones in the body, specifically serotonin and melatonin. And so I actually didn't know this, but over the full moon, that is when your serotonin is highest and your melatonin is lowest. So you might even find for yourself that maybe you don't sleep as well around the full moon. Maybe your animals are a little bit more crazy around the full moon or your kids. Like it actually, there is science to support that. So now bringing this back to parasites, 
That being said, with the changes of the shifts of melatonin and serotonin, it typically does cause the parasites to be more awake and more active in the body at that time, which then can result in symptoms spiking up higher, making us feel worse, feeling just kind of like almost feeling sick, but not actually being sick, um, being more bloated. Like I was finding for myself, like I, I thought I had a stomach bug. Um, you know, just a month or so ago, which was actually what kind of prompted me to dig into this. I literally went through this period where I was like, God, I feel like I just can't like digest my food. I like don't have an appetite. I don't feel good. I feel bloated. And it really could tie back into parasites, which is crazy. It is crazy. And if you think about it, now that you mentioned that, so we deworm dogs, we deworm cats. Mm -hmm. um, we deworm horses. I was going to say horses yeah. as well. I was going to check with you. I'm like, but we never take ourselves anything as far as humans to, you know, deworm ourselves. Well, what's unquote. funny is, you know, when I was talking about this with my mom and, you know, she actually grew up on a farm kind of middle of nowhere. Yeah. And she said as kids, they all would take worm pills because growing up on the farm, they were really prone to parasites. Susceptible to, yeah, absolutely. And it's something that, you know, when we think about like living in big cities and very like modern day first world, we don't really think about like, oh yeah, I need to take worm pills. But if you, I mean, if, if going on down that road, if you think about, it, I mean, New York city, like one of the probably dirtiest cities out there, like there's so much trash rats and stuff like that. And then people travel, like there's so much cross contamination that it just makes sense. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to try it. I was like, because, you know, we've traveled out of the country recently. We've, uh, you know, just been around animals and all that stuff. I was like, let me just see what happens. And I was very surprised what, what came out of me. <laughs> yeah. And so really it's like, if you're, especially if your immune system is suffering, you know, you are probably doing more vulnerable than most people. So like, if you are exposed to things like contaminated tap water to undercooked meat, um, raw food, um, like I hate to say it, but you know, like pet kisses. Um, uh, yeah. You know, as much as I, I love Zoe, <laughs> I'm thankful that she's not much of a licker, but I know there are definitely are dogs that I've cuddled up to who are, um, you know, I hate to share this one, but sushi is a really common way to get parasites in the first world. Um, something to think about there. But, you know, if, we, if you're exposed to these types of things that are very common to contracting parasites, and then if you add in on top of that, maybe you're also already dealing with something else. So now let's take it back to thinking about myself over the last few years, I was dealing with a lot of stress. My immune system was something that we'll, we'll talk about more in a future episode, but that's something more recently I've discovered is a lot of th these things might be coming more from an um, immunological issue that I've been dealing with. Um, but you know, on top of that, obviously there were some other gut issues that I had on my GI maps. I had some hormone issues. So my body has been under a lot of stress. My immune system has been compromised. So it makes sense that I would be more likely to contract parasites. Um, you know, was it the imbalances in the gut microbiome? Was it the chronic stress? Like we don't really know what actually caused it. It could have been something that I picked up years ago. You know, I grew up on um, farms. Like I, I grew up riding. I grew yeah. up being around horses all the time. And, you know, for those who show horses, like, let's be honest, you know, as much as we might be like normal, cleanly human beings, let's be honest, there's probably days where we go and we clean a stall and then we take a break and eat lunch right away. Yeah. And you don't like head to the bathroom to wash your hands. Or the other one I was thinking about is if, think about if you're a mom with, you know, little kids and they go to the playground, they probably put dirt, rocks in their mouth. And then, you know, you go to kiss them or whatever. And all of those parasites are again being, um, you know, passed on to, to you from a loved one or whatever. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, Vanessa, and, and this is just a little bit that just kind of popped in my head. What do you think for you? I know you said you felt like a new woman. What do you think has been the biggest change for you um, after you, we did our parasite cleanse? Yeah. Well, so I want to talk about like kind of what happened as far as like, oh, okay. how the yeah. parasite Go cleanse went. So, you know, I obviously going back then to, I was experiencing some of these symptoms. We decided, all right, you know, let's, let's try out a parasite cleanse. So I, um, you know, took some several different supplements. I won't get into exactly what they are because this is something that, um, I don't think you should just necessarily do on your own without guidance. These are very strong supplements. Um, but several different supplements that work for different things. Some of them are um, essentially micro antimicrobials, really killing things off. Others are essentially like- Cleanses. Yeah, well, so others are essentially like binders to where they're like actually sweeping the things through the gut to where it's like as one supplement is killing things off, the other is like grabbing a hold of it and really pulling it through. So they're all working together. And then I started taking them and we started to just titrate the dose up as we got closer to the full moon. Well, as soon as I started taking this, and I know you had the same experience, I was actually 
um, right away passing <laughs> what essentially looks like little sesame seeds. And, um, you know, I what I've learned recently is that those are essentially like tapeworm fragments. So right away we were saying like, okay, we know that there's stuff there. We know that this is working. Um, we're expecting that, you know, if we're already on just like a small dose starting to pass these fragments, there's definitely more there that is probably going to be passed closer to the full moon. That was the biggest one for me. That's probably what I saw most of were a lot of like sesame looking things that, that I passed. Um, but uh, I mean, to me, again, like I said, I felt fine. Like my energy was fine. Like I, I don't have gut issues and stuff. And even then I still was, uh, you know, having some of these things that I passed on that I was very surprised from. Yeah. Well, and one thing, and this is where it's like, you know, the difference, I think sometimes between men and women is like for you, I'm like, yeah, you have some GI symptoms. And then you I just are very like, yeah, oh, I'm great. Fair. I'm fine. Yeah. And that's most men. But, you know, you've noticed bloating before. You've yeah. definitely had, you know, gas and burping and some different things here and there that like these are symptoms to look for. Just a lot of times men aren't as like, oh, awake just, to these things. Fair, fair. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> that's why I chose to put you on this as well. It's not that you had no symptoms. I w- if you had no symptoms, I would not have put you on All this. Right, and I want to be clear of that. If you don't have symptoms, we're not going to do a parasite cleanse. So, you know, that being said, I was going through this process, um, you know, as we got closer to the full moon, we kind of titrated our dosage up. And then, so the full moon was last weekend as we're recording this. So it was June 4th. And I actually almost forgot because we were really busy with some stuff and work. And I just honestly, like I knew we were close to the full moon, but I wasn't really totally sure what the date was of the full moon. And part of me still wasn't really convinced that it, like it actually has to do that much with the full moon. But so leading up to that weekend, I found myself just not feeling very good. You know, I had worked out earlier in the week and I felt like my body just didn't recover from the workouts. I felt like I was just achy all over. Like I felt like I was like starting to get sick, but like not I feel like we're, feeling uh, sick. I feel like we're in the movie Jaws and I get to build like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but so towards the end of the week, I was just feeling super low energy. I was like feeling really bloated. I felt like my digestion was off. And then come Saturday, you know, we had had planned to go to the gym that morning and um, we got there and I just did not feel good. I think I told you like several times, I was like, I feel like I'm getting sick. I just don't feel good today. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to work out. I'm just going to do some SMR therapy. Um, You know, clients, if you know, do the the SMR training with Aaron in the free face or not the free Facebook group, the client Facebook group, that training is incredible. So I went through that whole training on um, Saturday instead of the gym. Like I spent like 90 minutes literally just doing this type of nervous system work. Um, And I still, the rest of the day, I just did not feel good. Then we had a family dinner that night and, you know, we got some fresh kitchen, some of my favorite food, which is, you know, nutrient dense, organic. It's super, super, um, you know, it should be something I can digest very well. And yet I, I ate this meal and I felt like it was just sitting like a rock in my stomach and I just did not feel very good. So went home, I drank some teas to kind of help with my digestion and then I went to bed and the next morning, like I think, um, you know, Zoe came in to wake us up at seven, like she <laughs> always know. does. Um, and so she you know came in and woke us up and I just was like, I cannot get up right now. So thankfully you got up and you took her out and I went back to sleep and I slept another whole like two and yeah, a half you hours, were which is in bed crazy. Till like nine thirty, right? At least, yeah. yeah. I never sleep in that late, and I slept in until probably nine forty-five, and then I got up, and I still was like, God, I just don't feel good. And I like started to eat some breakfast, and then lo and behold, dun, I dun, 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 went to the dun, dun, bathroom. Dun. <laughs> All I heard from from you was Omar. And I was like, <laughs> What's wrong? I was like, Well, who died? And you're like. I'm not going to show you this, but you should see what just came out. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. All right. <laughs> all I will say, we're not getting into the details, but all I will say is that I passed a worm that was at least a foot long. That's crazy. It was huge. And I was both at the same time, completely repulsed and just extremely excited Relief. because I was like, oh my gosh, this actually worked. Like there was something inside of me that was causing these symptoms. And there is that feeling of relief that comes with realizing like, okay, that wasn't in my head. I was feeling this reason. I was feeling this way for a reason. And there's a reason for that. And now hopefully that reason is taken care of. So all of that to say, 
Um, you know, obviously I was feeling terrible leading up to that. That was Sunday morning. That's the, the monster arrived. <laughs> and then, um, the rest of Sunday, funny enough, just kind of sharing my experience here. I, I still felt like I had been like hit by a truck. Like it, it, this was like a traumatic thing for my body, yeah, I which bet. is crazy. It shows you how much these things affect you. Yeah. I felt so low energy all of Sunday and then still for the first half of Monday, I still didn't feel very good. And then finally, like the second half of Monday, Monday afternoon, I started to pick my energy back up. And today is Tuesday and I feel like a new woman. I feel normal. I feel great. My digestion feels great. And so it's just, it's, it's wild. That's It is wild. You yeah. basically gave birth to a monster, baby. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> All right. We're not going to talk about that. But um, I didn't have anything like that. But I, we do have a friend, um, shout out to Trevor, but he had a similar situation mm-hmm. where he passed something like super big and, and he was dealing with a lot of like heavy metals and all that stuff yeah. in his uh, uh, system, right? So this Yeah, stuff- absolutely. And it's, you know, testing is lacking when it comes to this. And a lot of times, like I said, this doesn't even show up on testing. I've had GI maps done and parasites barely showed up on my GI map at all. That's why we didn't really focus on it initially because there were so many other things that were big and that were big focuses that's like, I had like a tiny little bit of a flag on the parasite section, but it wasn't something that initially was very concerning. So the facts are that these things don't necessarily show up in testing. And that's why we have to really look at symptoms. We have to get all of our ducks in a row, make sure that we are covering all of our bases health-wise, nutrition-wise, lifestyle factors-wise. And if we're doing all the right things and we're still experiencing symptoms like chronic bloating, fatigue, anxiety, low energy, just like other kind of like mystery symptoms, you might need to dig deeper and not just go to a doctor and get labeled, you know, irritable bowel syndrome and be like, okay, this is me. And I'm just going to live with this forever. There can be more things going on. So that's really what I wanted to make the point of this episode is to open your eyes to the fact that there might be more than can meet the eye. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. And I always, we've shared this analogy, but it's, think of it as like you're building a house, you're building a foundation, right? If you build a house upon a crappy foundation for lack of a better word, um, it's, it's going to crumble. And mm-hmm. if you build a house on a strong, solid foundation, you can build upon it. You can do whatever you want. And then that's the, the, the reality of things. And that's really how you have to address a lot of these issues in themselves. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, I, I hope this was helpful for somebody and not too traumatic for you to hear about this. Um, but if you enjoyed this, I shoot me a message. Them. I was like, if you guys are eating, <laughs> not right now. If you enjoyed this, shoot me a message. Let me know. It's always super helpful for me to get feedback on what you guys are um, enjoying, what you're learning from. Um, and if you do not enjoy this, I am so sorry. But that is all <laughs> I will say. But thank you so much for listening. We'll be back next week. See you guys.